What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're finally going to be doing some work on the drift car. We've actually bought a new angle kit for it. I mean, well, half the kit. I know we've only just installed an angle kit, but we're going to be changing it up and I'll explain why in a bit. It's about time we've done some work on this. We bought these knuckles ages ago, we just haven't had the time to fit them. We've got a drift day booked for next week. We kind of need to get it done now as well. Alright, let me show you the knuckles and then we'll go from there. Right, so these are the knuckles we've got. They are from Wizards of Lock. I'll put the Instagram up here. We got them pretty cheap, so we actually bought these quite a few months ago, to be honest, um, but just not got around to getting them done. Basically, it's just a, a stock E36 knuckle, but what they've done, they've cut this and shortened it to relocate where the tie rod is. We've gone for reduced Ackerman. You can get different ones, but I think reduced is perfect for us. They're blue. I don't know, they just said select a colour, so just went for blue. Don't know why, but oh well. <laughs> might look silly, might look alright, I don't know. So the reason we're changing this from the setup that we're currently running, I will show you in a sec why, but basically the old setup works, but it's just a little bit sketchy. We've got new nuts as well for the hubs, just because I don't know what the condition of the old ones are in. And we're also going to need our new E90 tie rods as these are quite a bit longer than the standard E36 ones and because the pickup point has moved and we've got extended arms we need the longer tie rods. I don't know if we're gonna have to cut them down a little bit or not yet but we'll see when it comes to that anyway. This, I'll go outside and show you why I'm changing these. So I jacked all the car up yesterday because it's normally a pain so I got it done in the evening but yeah so this is why basically. If you see that got a lot of play there so where the tie rod goes in it doesn't sort of sit flush it has quite a lot of movement so you can really feel this wiggle when you're driving and also the nuts keep coming loose even though I have put thread locker on them so yeah it's just a bit sketchy but angle wise they're really good they've done the job there you get a pretty impressive angle and to be honest you'd be fine running these for 20 quid or whatever these brackets were I think they're actually really good. I haven't had any problems other than what I've just described, but if you're on a mega budget, they will do the job. We just invested a little bit and we're gonna upgrade. So yeah, should feel a lot nicer. So change tie rod, take all of this off. So wish me luck. There she is. Haven't done anything to this in a while. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take the brake off. As I think that's going to be the most pain getting these bolts off and then I'll take the disc off and the hub and then take the arms and everything off so that you can tell we've got quite a bit of angle been rubbing inside on both sides got the brake caliper off that was a bit of a tricky one but it's all right getting there I've loosened this one off. I'm just going to remove the tie rod and probably this bracket and then I'll bash this one until it comes out. If this is just spinning and spinning with the nut, then you put some jacket up from the bottom and then it'll make it tighter in the bottom so you can actually undo the nut. Just give a little trick. Yeah, so now we just need to, I've, un, I've loosened this just need to, if you smack here, this should pop out. But you have to smack it quite hard, a lot harder than you expect, to be honest. Um, I might crack all these loose while that's supporting everything and make it a bit easier, I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna undo everything so it's all hand tight and then do this one, because it's holding it all in place at the moment. I'll probably do this as well, take the rotor off. All right, so I've unbolted the disc, which is just a centralizing pin. Taken the brake caliper off and I've loosened everything that I can. It's all just hand tight. All right, so I've got the little cover off. Probably have to buy a new one because I kind of mashed that up a little bit. It was a lot softer than I thought. Um, you just need to bend out this little tab and like I showed you earlier, I've got new nuts for this just so that you don't have to reuse this little tab. They're only a couple of quid, so I might as well. But yeah, now I need to get that off somehow. So, wish me luck. Yeah, she's quite tight. <laughs> I put the jack pole onto the breaker bar, so. I think I might have to get the windy gun on it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get both the hubs off and then I'll take them into the garage and get the windy gun on that. I'll just clamp this in, in the vise 
I think that would be way easier because that is not coming off of the breaker bar. ABS line. Who needs that anyway? There we go. One down. Now reassemble it. new one all lightly bolted up I've only put this on just to keep it out of the way obviously it has to come back off but I'm just trying to work out the length of the tie rods now so this is a 36 one this is an E90 one just getting the other side off now just doing the same procedure loosening it all it is freezing it's actually the first sunny day out we've had in ages but it is freezing it's probably like five degrees a little coffee break just getting there Right, so I've got the hubs off. Got the hub put back onto this one. Spinning all right. It was actually quite a pain. I didn't film any of it, but when I pulled this off, the back of the bearing stayed on the old hub. That was interesting, but yep, got it off now. Right, so I've got the one side bolted up. It looks absolutely nuts. I think it's actually more than we had before. That's like sideways. Doesn't rub on anything either, which is good. Yeah, um, the tie rods, I mean, I haven't cut anything. I've been playing around with them to try and work out a rough alignment. And I don't know if you can see, there's a few threads that I can adjust if it comes to it I can cut this off and then I've got way more adjustment but from an eyeball alignment this looks about right so I might not have to cut anything I don't know when we get a proper alignment we might have to start chopping it but for now I think it looks about right just need to bolt check everything but yeah that's mad look at that looks insane it's sideways Jeez, look at that. <laughs> it was absolutely nuts. I mean, that looks absurd. I think this is definitely more than we had before. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. I, can, I should have done it before and after really. Um, yeah, on this side I just need to change the tie rods over. And then this side's done. And then I'll bolt check everything, and then it's done, I think. Oh, went a lot smoother than I thought. Alright, so the other E90 tie ride is on. Um, I find it easiest getting them on and off with one of these. It just grips onto it, and it's so easy to get on and off. Um, trying to get a spanner to fit that is a pain, so there's no point. Just use a pair of them. They work perfectly. Um, but yeah, this one's in now. I just need to bolt it up, and then it's all good. And I'll do a little eyeball alignment and should be good to go. We finally decided to show up at the end of the day. <laughs> Once the job's done, he shows up. Standard. Someone's got to pay for the damage on my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much done. Just need to do quick alignment. Well, kind of eyeball alignment thing. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to alignment, really. But yes. <sighs> Got the boss if it focuses. It's Cameron, it's so annoying. Premium boss, Japanese with the German whip. Mmm. Banging, so good. This stuff is so good. It's even better. Look. Doing some work. Right, so me and Callum, we've been working on this 3D printed um, hydro. It's basically an extension. If This is very standard hydro that most people have. It used to only come to about here. Um, we made a bar that went up, which is over there, but we just bent it in half 
as it was pulling it just kept bending. Callum made this 3D printed one, tried one the other day, it's slightly off but I'm just going to see if this one fits. Um, got the old death grip on the end there, looking pretty fresh, looks really nice and it feels solid as well, like proper strong, I don't think this would be snapping. It looks banging, it's perfect. The actual plate is mounted on Ben's before this thing does. Looks so good. This one is still obviously a prototype. We're gonna try it out for a while, make sure it's strong enough, and we might tweak the design a bit, but the fitment is perfect now. But yeah, if you wanna buy one, DM me on Insta, and we can print you one out if you want. Also, something that I didn't mention um, with the angle kit, if you haven't watched my previous angle kit install video, um, I am running rack spacers as well. Rack spacers, E90 tire rods, 50mm extended arms, and the cut and welded knuckles with reduced Ackerman. So that's the full setup. So yeah, the angle kit's all done now. We took it out for a test drive. It drives so much better. There's no sort of play in the steering wheel or anything anymore. Before, like, it all wobbled a little bit. It was a bit weird, but way better now. Next week, we're going to the track. So we'll be properly testing it there, see how it feels. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.